Mindhunter Season 1 Episode 1 Review. So apparently, unbeknownst to me, this is actually a show based off of a book called Mindhunter Inside the FBI Elite Serial Crime Unit by John E. Douglas. And it's adapted into this show on Netflix. And it's directed by none other than David Fincher. And that's also in the first two episodes, that's what he's directed. Now, of course, if you don't know David Fincher, I'll name off a few um, wonderful little works that he's done. Uh, House of Cards, for one. Need I Say Flight Club, Seven, and Gone Girl. And so this definitely proves that Fincher is not only at the helm, but he's also right in his element here making this show. This show is set in 1977, and is it's about Holden Ford, a special agent in the FBI Behavioral Science Unit, and serves as a hostage negotiator. And the opening scene really conveys what kind of character Holden Ford is. Keep in mind, not what the show's about. Because this is essentially a character piece. He is calm, collected, and caring for the job that he is trying to do. Negotiating with criminals or just people who've flown the coop. But when that goes horribly wrong in this scene, something triggers inside him that the rights and wrongs and the blacks and whites of how law enforcement sees criminals and the people, they are actually more ingrained and in-depth than realized. So he tries to understand a little more than what he already understands. He talks to people that have different perspectives than him and just on the basics and he wants to know what drives them to do some unspeakable things. From there, he meets Bill Tench, a rough and gruff behavioral agent as well, who goes to police stations and talks to them of the ways of their enacting their enforcement and they compare notes trying to learn something. So with that, he befriends Holden, and they go together to understand just a little bit more and in dive in deep to the study of criminology and the psychology that goes with it. In this show, we see not only a period piece, but what the time was like before people believed there was more to a killer. You know, there's a lot more like me. Do you think so? David Fincher is a director who has proved time and time again he is really good not at only period pieces like zodiac but understands the psychological crime thriller genre and here he breaks it down the study of it 40 years ago your fbi was founded hunting down john dillinger now we have extreme violence between strangers Someone who is eager to understand but is clueless to comprehend, which isn't entirely Holden's fault, but he pulls his resources together to see what he can try and understand, if not understand, so much more. Now, I'm going to level with you guys. You're going to see this show and go, that looks pretty cool. Let's watch it. And this will probably be you after 20 minutes. first 10 minutes of this is very intriguing as a hostage situation goes terribly wrong. But then there's the rest of the episode and it's based solely in talking, analyzing, understanding. There are moments of clear personal development for these characters like Holden Ford interacting with a girl he meets at a bar, Debbie. But even then that scene results into talking about theories about society and the human condition. On the level with you guys, and consensus, I would believe that people would have to say that this is going to be one boring episode. I have no idea about the rest. And the chances are, after 20 minutes, you'll realize this isn't the show you thought it was. But if you're deep into this stuff, this is fascinating character studies, filling you with not just impressive set pieces or time period looks or terminology, but a period piece that has something to say. I mean, look how far we've gotten into the criminology department in a time where the mind is definitely a strong weapon to be used. In 2017, in this day and age, we all know this. Killers are born and made every day and we have smarter, more agile people to stop them from before things get worse. But imagine what it was like in 1977. No one had a clue. No one believed that there was more to a person when they were committing a crime or starting an occult or anything like that. Through the eyes of Holden, he is trying to understand himself, but of course, 
there's so much advancement to understanding further, and he also gets a lot of resistance. Jonathan Groff is superb in this episode as our main character, Holden Ford. He keeps his reserve, holds himself well but for everyone, but he comes across a lot of challenges. But at the end of the day, he internalizes it. He focuses on what needs to be done and uses that challenge to advance forward in the behavioral science in the mind of a criminal. That goes without saying, this episode really does suffer from not a lot happening. Most of it is dialogue pieces, dialogue moments, dialogue everything. And it just comes off as, well, boring. But it's an in-depth analysis. So when you get two characters debating between themselves and to others what it all means to do their job... How do we get ahead of crazy if we don't know how crazy thinks? But if you're into this... This is a masterclass of not really just psychological stuff, but a from a film standpoint, everything is pretty pristine here. Everything is focused, explained very well, character-driven as much as it is developing. This started off boring to me, and then it flipped around and became really interesting by its second half. Upon a rewatch, I'm pretty sure this would be a little bit better, but in the end, I gotta say that uh, I can imagine a lot of people just kind of clicking off and going, okay, I'm done. I didn't think this was going to be this boring or this kind of show. Some may be highly disappointed, and I was slightly disappointed, but not just in terms of what I wanted it to be. This should be what it needs to be, a character study, a piece that is trying to convey a message of what 1977 was like before people really knew that there was more to a mindset of a killer. But this isn't Criminal Minds or a theatrical movie. So I'm going to say that I'm going to take my time with the show and see if I like it a little bit further. But if what I said intrigues you any more, then I'd say go for it. Look into this. Know what you're getting yourself into. Look into this and see if this actually speaks to you. And when you do, come on back. Let me know down below and let me know what you think. I'd love to know. And of course, if you guys like this review and you would like to see more, please subscribe. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, universe reviews that actually, between movies and TV shows, set up a mythology. So all you got to do is just subscribe, go to my channel, and see what you like. And in the end, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, until next time.